That's the vet up there. Shit. Screaming. Crying. Something's gonna gone happen to her. Something's gone on upstairs. What we don't know. <laughs> See how your feet your feet right? Let's go in that room first. got upstairs is Yvette. I think Yvette might be taken over and she's screaming quite violently up there now. I've never ever heard that in the history of Most Haunted. Cal's up there as well. Let's go upstairs. What you have just seen is a small proportion of what actually happened to me. I was later told that this had all taken place in just six minutes, yet at the time I simply had no concept of where I was or what was happening to me. Terrified, frightened and literally sick with fear, this was the end of our night and the culmination of an investigation that we all want to put behind us. In hindsight, perhaps the signs had been there, direct threats to female crew members. Please, can you tell me if anyone here means to harm us? My own misjudged bravery. If you can hear me, dear, I'm not scared of you at all. You don't frighten me. And even as far back as the first night of our Halloween investigations, when David's own automatic writing session had even forewarned of the danger that was to manifest in this area. But I was prepared to attempt this practice myself, and whatever conclusions can be drawn from my own state of consciousness, these are events that will haunt me for the rest of my life. And unbeknown to me at the time, once he had taken time to take all of this in, Carl's feelings were there for all to see. There's nothing worse than seeing someone that you love more than, more than anything in the world. Um, very distressed and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Absolutely nothing. And you think, well, I'm supposed to be here to protect her and help her and, and make her happy and, 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 and she wasn't. And you, you, you suddenly forget, because you're on a personal level, you, you, you forget what you're here for. And I, I just, 
It was horrible. It really was horrible. Um, I, I'm, I'm more, I'm more likely to believe the spiritual explanation, uh, which is what David said about um, a past life regression, more so than the scientific uh, explanation that she could have had some sort of fit. I don't think she did have a fit. I, I think you slipped into um, some form of regression. You slipped into, the eyes fluttering particularly gave that away for me. Um, it's something that people do in regression. And when I was, I was sitting at the end of the bed trying to link in, I went into a past life. Um, not, but I didn't recognise it. I didn't recognise the life. I mean, I, I can sort of, like, I can hear what's going on in my being it. And I thought, well, I don't understand what's going on here. But it seemed like there was a witch trial going on. And I thought, this is odd. But when I do past life regression, that's how I see, I see other people's lives when they're, when they're having the regression. Mm -hmm. So my explanation would be you slipped into past life, a, a particularly unpleasant one. What I was viewing was your past life as you were, you were getting the full whack of that experience. I think you just had, you remembered a past life there.